Hello everybody and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Does not feel like it's been more than a month since the last episode, but it has. So we're back doing GX here. Um, I think we're going to start with uh, this one, because I'm a little rusty, so I should start with the lower, or in this case, I get rather higher on the list stuff. Story deck, okay. I'm in a little bit of a grumpy mood because, um, well, first of all, Dylan's, Dylan went to Genesis in America the, the for Smash Ultimate. He left the other day for that, and I just found out, well, not just found out, rather, last night when I went to brush my teeth, he fucking took the toothpaste with, with him, and he didn't tell me, so now after I record this, I have to go out and just buy some fucking toothpaste, because now my mouth feels disgusting. Mmm. I'm salty about that. But now I'm about to be salty, but from getting hit with, uh, Jaden. No. Okay, rare gold armor essentially makes you the, the quote-unquote tank. You're the target. Kishido Spirit. Isn't that the same armor? For sure it is, yeah. Monsters on your side of the field cannot be destroyed in a battle if the monsters attack are equal. What a waste of a fucking card. <laughs> Should I even bother Mystical Space Dive Moon in it? Cyber Prima. When this card is tribute summoned, destroy all face-up spell cards on the field. Double pass A. When a monster declares an attack on a face-up attack position monster, make your opponent attack an erect attack instead. And inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack of the attack target you control. Also, that monster you control can attack your opponent directly during your next turn. Alright, I guess. I can't really do anything, though, right now. Using my MST on Kishido Spirit is not going to be beneficial to me at the moment. All right, Jaden, my boy, what do you got? He's got the heat. He's got another heat. And there goes half my life points right away, because I didn't have a monster to throw out. I better draw one, or it's a lights out for me. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted at all. I, I, okay, I lose. I lose. Great start. Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist, everybody. Where I literally can't do anything and everyone yells at me for being bad. Ugh. All right. Let's try this again. Radius. Yeah, Konami, stroke that dick a little harder. Okay, I want to go second, because I want more familiarity with my cards. Since I can't just look through my deck before I can do the duel. Okay, Scapegoat. He's got reinforcements to the army. He's bringing Sparkman out. Can he fuse? No, he's got heat again. Okay, so I have half of my fusion monster. And with this, I could find the other half, but let me see here. Yep, H hole cyber plus blade skater. Cyber 2 2. Magic hole golem. Hang on a second. Once per turn, you can select one face up monster you control. Its attack is halved until the end phase, and it can attack your opponent directly. During the turn, you activate this effect. Only the selected monster can attack. Sounds like you're- it sounds like you- you basically should just say, put me in face-down defense mode, because I'm not going to be that helpful. Okay, so because I set this turn, I can activate Scapegoat. So we may as well just make myself a little wall. Now, if I use reinforcements of the army, I may as well just set double pass A. Because why not? We'll use this search card to get a 12 cyber. Yep. Now all I need is polymerization. I can get my get my boss monster, quote unquote, out. Hmm. Yep. That's pretty much all I can do. Speaking of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, though, I I do plan to play a bit more of a Destiny board traveler because um I've I've been playing a bit of that on my own and it's actually pretty fun. 
little longer game sessions are. So I think uh, you guys would probably enjoy if I did another episode or two of that. Pot of greed. Okay, okay. Do I want to use MST here? Save my... I, I can use my scapegoat to stall. I don't know what that is. I... I suppose I might as well. I mean, what else is he gonna do? What else can I really do? He could activate Skyscraper, but I don't think Skyscraper would really be that big a deal. What'd I get rid of? Drain and Shield. Okay, that was a good one. That was a good one to use it on. Okay, if the attack of each monster your opponent controls is higher than the attack of this card, it can attack your opponent directly. So I can throw it on the field to die, is what you're saying. To deal a thousand damage. Well, he'd probably do more. I need, a, I need to prevent her from getting attacked for that to work. I'm just going to set and keep my little wall built up here. Hopefully he'll be dumb and try and attack this one and deal some damage. I'm going to stall for polymerization. I'm going to bet it all on that. Although I'm worried now that I, that I thought of Skyscraper. Skyscraper can get rid of my fusion monster. Uh, of course they attack everything but that one. There's rare gold armor. Uh, yep, yep, yep. I needed that to make 2-2 work. As long as you control the monster equipped with this, your opponent cannot attack other monsters other than the equipped monster. So if I flip this up, then... No, no, he has more than 2,000 now. I think I'm gonna stall again. Because he can get rid of my monster. I want to bet it all on the fusion monster. Clearly what they want me to do with this deck is to use rare gold armor on something like Scapegoat and let me attack directly, but... don't think that's going to help me out too much. That bought me another turn. I got a Blade Skater. Should I just... Hmm. If I flip this up, I can get rid of... Burstinatrix with Blade Skater. This is a gamble. And I can't put it in defense mode. Fuck. I forgot how flipping worked. Oh well. Deal with it. Battle phase. I got an idea. Just get rid of Burst Intertrex. Don't do that. Please don't do that. Oh, crap. Now I can't use Rare Gold Armor. I wanted to use Rare Gold Armor on Blade Skater. As long as you control the equip monster with this, I can equip. I can still equip it to Blade Skater, even though it's on his side of the field, right? Because control is going to return to me at the end of the turn. What I want to do is put rare gold armor on Blade Skater. Then, when he had, no doubt tries to attack it, I can use double pass A. Make his attack a direct attack instead, and inflict damage your opponent. And also that I can attack him directly next turn. Clearly, that's intended for a twelve cyber, but it doesn't matter. Please let this work. Yep, I can. Okay, rare gold armor's on you. Now let's end my fucking dumbass turn. Can't believe I thought I could just... I thought I could flip it up into defense mode. And he's... Oh, crap. Fusion Gate. I know what you're doing. Oh, you, you played Fusion Gate. And then Polymerization. Here it comes. Here it comes. The big boy. And heat is stronger. Okay. Yes, I will. Hit me directly. And he's gonna attack it anyway. Yeah, there goes there goes that because of my dumbass. On the bright side, he played Fusion Gate, so now I can just fuse these two. What do I got here? 
Meteor Rain. During this turn, when your monsters attack with an attack that's higher than defense your opponent's defense. Okay, I just do piercing damage for one turn. That's a trap card, so... Okay, so let's 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 look at our options. Well, my only option. He has three monsters. Negate the effects of your opponent's spell, trap, and effect monsters. So, Elemental Hero Heat will lose its uh, ability to power up. But the problem is, I have the same attack points as Flame Wingman. So what do I do in that situation? He has no cards in his hand. I have to play this very carefully. I still have a scapegoat. I have no choice but to use it, use his fusion gate that he for some reason used, even though he didn't need to. Okay, so let's think about it like this. Three, uh, when he has three monsters, negate the effects of your opponent's spell and trap and effect monsters. But when I have two, this card, this card's attack doubles. So if I, because his effects, heat's net effect is negated, I can kill heat right now. And then when he's gone, my attack points will double and I'll be safe from Flame Wingman. Then he'll probably play defensively and I can use Meteor Rain to finish him off. All right. And now I'm huge. That's it for now. We both don't have any cards, Jaden, my boy, but we got our boss monsters. He took the bait. He took the bait. Let's see. When monsters attack... Okay, it's all my monsters, so I can summon... Let's see... Okay, no, you can't kill anything here, unfortunately. Your attack point, you can't even take out Flame Wing, man. You only got the 12. Let's see, when I have one monster, what does it say? This card cannot be destroyed by battle when it, there's only one monster. Okay, so... For now, I'll just set Atoll Cyber, because Cy uh, Sparkman wouldn't be able to do anything. All right. All right, it's time. And now he can't destroy me by battle. All right, I turn this around. I made a dumb decision flipping up that uh, defensive monster, but it did not matter. It only cost me a few life points. He got another spark, man. Don't forget, he can fuse whenever he wants. Once per turn, when you, you can discard one card, then target one face-up attack position monster. Controls, destroy it. A little one-for-one one thing there. Well, I guess I got him. Don't I? Oh, he had 100 left. Well, what's he going to do? What is he going to do? Fuse Thunder Giant? I don't think so. You don't have it in you, Jaden. Oh, he got nothing. Oh, I got a Fusion Gate now. Just kill his little Wing Karibo. Oh, he can't take he can't take more battle damage now, can he? Yep, that's it. He stalled one more turn. Come on, Jaden, you ain't gonna not do nothing. He's still stalling. He's still stalling that last, last sweet little activate. Yeah, I think I will actually. I'm gonna get rid of your fusion gate. That way, he, if if he man, wait, what? Oh, okay, yeah, main phase. That way, if he manages to stall this turn again... Okay, yeah, he didn't. I did it! No, 
All right. So next, I guess we should do the Shadow Duelist story deck. Now I get to use the Arch Fiends. Okay, now. Skull Archfiend of Lightning. That summon Skull. During each of your standby phases, you must pay 500 life points. This is not optional, but this card is destroyed. Wait, what? This is not optional, or it's destroyed. Before resolving an opponent's card effect, six, roll a six-sided die. Negate the effect if you roll a one, three, or six. And if you do, destroy that card. Life Absorbing Machine. During your standby phase, gain life points equal to half of the total life points you paid during your last turn. I definitely want to use that. Pandemonium. Neither player has to pay life points during during the standby phase for Archfiend Monsters. Each time a player's Archfiend Monster is destroyed and sent to the graveyard except by battle, that player can add one Archfiend Monster from their deck to their hand for with a lower level than the destroyed card. Clearly I want that. Yeah, I Infernal Queen Archfiend. To control this card, it pays five or life points each or standby phases. When this card is targeted by the effect of a card, resolving the effect, roll a six-sided die, two, five, two or five, and negate the effect, destroy the card. When this card remains on the field, during each standby phase, increase the attack of one Archfiend monster by 100,000 points till the end phase. Okay. Archfiend Eris. So this card is sent to the graveyard because of a card effect or being destroyed by battle. You can add one Archfiend card from your deck to your hand, except Archfiend Eris. You can only... Oh, you can only use the effect of Archfiend Eris once per turn. Okay, so which one do I go with? Do I just put this one in face-down defense for now? I think I will. Go ahead and activate Life Absorbing Machine. Yep, and he's gonna destroy me. Destroyed by, by each time a player's archery monster is destroyed by the graveyard, except except by battle. Okay, okay. Dark Bishop Archfiend, the controller's card. Blah blah blah. blah, blah. When archery monster card on your side of the field is targeted by the effect of a card, control your opponent. When resolving it, roll six sided die. You gave the effect, destroy the opponent's card. You can destroy as because of a card effect or being destroyed by battle. You can add one Archfiend card from your deck to your hand, except Archfiend Eris. You can only use the effect. I guess I want to just throw this thing down so I can get something else to work with because I can't really do much, can I? These things don't have the points to kill. Well, this one does, but I got to sacrifice. Uh oh. Yes, I will. Show what you got. Oh, I can get trap cards and spell cards as well. Okay. Let's see. Pay 500 life points, then target one Archfiend monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. It cannot be tributed. Destroy it during the end phase. Pa Archfiend Palambrith. Hang on a second. All fiend type monsters you control gain 500 attack. You can target one Archfiend monster you control. Banish one other fiend type monster you control. And if you do, special summon from your hand deck or graveyard one Archfiend monster with the same level. You can only use this effect once per turn. That somewhat seems like a better spell card because I lose, I, um, I won't, I, yeah, uh, I have to pay the life point cost of my monsters, but I have life absorbing machine active, so it's not that bad. And this gives me the attack boost I need to do anything, for God's sakes. Death's Rook Archfiend. Let's take another quick, just quick gander at these things. Terra King Archfiend. This card cannot be normal summoner or flip summon unless you have an Archfiend monster on your side of the field. Control of this card pays, yada yada yada. Archfiend's Oath. Once per turn, you can pay 500 life points and declare one card name. Excavate the top card of your deck, and if it is the declared card, add it to your hand. Otherwise, send it to the graveyard, I presume. Archfiend Emperor, the first Lord of Horror. You can normal summon this card without tributing, but its original attack and defense become halved. If summoned this way, it is destroyed during the end phase. 
Pay 500 life points, then target one archery monster in your graveyard, special summon it, right, that. Should I go for Pal Labyrinth? Because looking at these cards, the ones that that are uh, that are below level 5, they don't look like they're going to be able to do much for me. And I'm, I'm thinking Life Absorbing Machine will help me. Okay, the bishop. The bishop. But it won't help me right now, clearly. Target to buy an effective card. Banish one other from entry control if you do a special summon your deck. I got any two cards on the field to do that. So in the end, I am not really doing much, am I? Wonderful. Monster Reborn. He's taking my card. Don't do that. Dark Catapulter. He's doing the thing. He's doing the thing. <laughs> Damn it. This is not a good... He is not getting a good... He does not have a good hand for me when I'm still trying to figure out what my deck even does. It's over. Archfiend Eris. Closer look at you. Nice, nice outfit. If this card is sent to the graveyard because the card effect will be destroyed, you can add one Archfiend card from your deck to your hand. Except Archfiend Eris, you can only use the effect of Archfiend for turn. Well, I may as well make use of that effect, now won't I? But here lies the problem. I need to get rid of his monsters. His monsters are in the way. Do I go with that or do I go with that? It's it's kind of over now. Like he's got Flame Wingman on on board. There's nothing there's nothing I can really do. I guess I'll just activate this. Now I have 500 more attack, but like this is not going to help me just not at all. It's over. He's just going to finish me off. And he's sacrificing those two to summon Blade Edge. Oh boy. Archfiend in your graveyard. Oh, do, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll add a card to my hand, even though I'm about to lose. All right, let's take another look at some of these cards. Controller, this card, pay for blah, 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 blah. Here, let's see. When this card is targeted by the effect, effects aren't the problem. He's just straight up attacking them because their attack is too damn low. Yeah, I should have just grabbed this thing and used its defense points, honestly. I don't know what I was thinking. Result is three, negate effect, and destroy the opponent's card. When a Terror King Archfiend on your side of the field is destroyed, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard the special summon the Terror King Archfiend. So maybe get my hand on that, but... Okay, that's the Terror King Archfiend. Let's see. This controller, this card pays 800 life points. When this card is targeted by the effect... Wait. There's no or it's destroyed here. When this card is, is targeted by the effect of a card controlled by your opponent, when you resolve in the effect, roll a six-sided die. Da, 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 da. The effect of the effect much of that card is destroyed and all the battle are negated. Let's see, this is bugging me. It seems like these guys are set up to have protection against effects. There's not much I can really do about that, but hang on a second. So this thing does have 2,000 attack. It's just, it's, it's problem is it just costs 800 life points to keep it on the field. All right, that's fine. The duel is over. I lost. I think I'll be better prepared for the next attempt now that I know what I'm working with. Share the pain. We both have to tribute for no effect. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna go second so I can have more cards. Now 
Okay, I got the Terra King and two of the life absorbing machines. That me if I set these up, then it would be safe to play the uh, the other field spell. I forget the name of it. A spark blaster. Uh oh. That increases attack, or is it just it just lets them shift attack positions? Yeah, it lets them. It gives them the ability to uh, change my attack and defense mode stuff. Monster reborn can't can't worry about that. That's gonna be helpful. Select one RHP monster your side of the field to activate this card. Your opponent also pays the same life points that you pay for the selected monster during the standby phase. If this card, yeah, blah blah. blah. If this card is removed from the field, destroy the selected monster. When the selected monster is removed from the field, destroy this card. Okay. I could make use of that, actually. That face down worries me. I can use Monster Reborn to bring him back. Okay, so I think I'm going to set all three of these, and I'm going to activate them next turn. Having three face-up continuous traps. Wait, what? This card cannot be normal summoned or flip summoned unless you have an Archfiend. Right, forgot about that part. That's fine. I think for now I can just set this card face down. Okay, this can only work. Yeah, face up monsters. I'll have to attack it. I'll lose it, but that's fine. I can just Monster Reborn it, then summon Terra King Archfiend. Kind of using up my whole hand here, but that's fine. All right. Okay, first we need to activate the two life absorbing machines. Get those active as soon as possible. There it goes. Okay, now he has another face down. Those could be anything. Archfiend's Roar. Pay 500, 500 life points and target an Archfiend monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. It cannot be attributed. Destroy it during the end phase. Hmm. I think I should use this trap card to bring it back next turn. Should I take Should I take some damage? Should I let myself take some damage so I can use this? Because Monster Reborn is a lot more valuable. Because I can use it in either graveyard. And there's... Because I can use this on my next turn so I can summon Terra King Archfiend. Yeah, I think I will. All right. Do your worst, Jaden, my boy. Jaden, my boy. Not yet. It's only that much. Double spell. What does this do again? Discard one spell card. Then target one spell card in your opponent's graveyard. Place that target in the appropriate zone on your side of the field. And as this card's effect resolution, follow its card text as if it, you had used it it's yourself. Follow its card text as if you had used it itself. Now, does that mean I still have to pay the cost of the spell card, or do I just get its effect? I I say just it's read the text, meaning I'd have to pay the cost of, the, of said spell, I suppose. Warrior returning alive. That would, be, that would be useful if I could get a spell card I need to discard. Anyways. All right. Let's do it. Let's see if my plan will work. 500 life points. Special summon it in defense mode. Activate the card. No. Now I'm going to summon Terra King Archfiend. Now I'm going to activate the Battle Scarred. There we go. Now, is it going to be safe to attack? He can change my battle position. And then attack me, so honestly, yes, I should. I'm worried, though. Did I do all this to get hit with a Mirror Force? Fuck, I did! <laughs> what did he just do? He discarded it while also using it. Interesting. Interesting. Go fuck yourself. Main phase two. You fucking piece of shit. I can't believe he did that. Bring it back, because I'm about to lose that monster. A 
But then he can just blaster it. Fuck, why did I do that? Oh, great. I should have waited. I should have fucking waited. Why didn't I wait? There's Fusion Gate. Cool. There's, okay, you're doing that. Okay, cool. Cool. It didn't matter. It didn't matter at all for me. I am getting my ass fucking handed to me, and I remember having trouble playing as Jaden in this duel. I barely- I've never even needed to, like, pay the cost yet of anything. Basically get my life points back. When this card is targeted by the effect of a card, your opponent wins all the effect rolls six sided die. Those effects aren't helping me, though! Everything just dies! As long as this card remains found in the field during the standby phase, one to archery card by 1,000 points. Which means I could use it on itself, right? Not that it fucking matters, apparently. Like, I, I, I can't do anything now. God damn it! He summons a fusion, I'm done. Can't even get my goddamn field spell on board. Come on. I got Mystical Space Typhoon. All right, this might be it. Okay. Discard a spell card, MST, then target one spell card in your opponent's graveyard. Place that target in your appropriate zone, and as this card's effect resolution, follow its card text as if you had used it yourself. So what does he have that I can use, though? Warrior returning alive. I can add a warrior type monster from my deck, but I don't have warrior type monsters, so why would I need that? Monster reincarnation. I can't use that. There aren't enough cards in my hand. Ah, uh, if I had one more card, I could use monster reincarnation. But then what? I, what would I even do with that? It's over. It's just fucking over. God damn it. I hate these things. How did he beat me with them before? I guess I just have shit luck. Finish me off, Jaden. Put me out of my damn misery already. Dark Catapulter. Yeah, cool. 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 Destroy deck. Ritual Ceiling. Destroy one face up ritual monster. I'm gonna go second again. All right, all right, this thing, this thing. And I've got this card. All fiend type monsters you control gain 500 attack. You can target one arching monster you control, banish one other fiend type monster, okay. Battle scarred. All right. Life Absorbing Machine, Archfiend's Roar. These, this seems like a better hand this time. I want to set this because I want to get my hands on a card that requires me to have some stuff on board in order to use it. A special summon the target, Battle Scarred. So if he, okay, so if he attacks this thing, I'll activate Battle Scarred so he has to pay for it. I'll use Life Absorbing Machine so I can use this. Let's see. I may as well set this in case I need it. Throw my whole hand down and watch everything unravel. Life Absorbing Machine, we want that working. Terraforming. He's getting his spell card ready. Or his field spell card ready. Okay, he's got nothing right now. Okay, I can sacrifice this. I can sacrifice some of this. Finally! Finally! So fucking finally it happened. During each of your standby phases, you must pay 500. Resolving the opponent's card effect, roll the negative. Okay, I think I got the- this is the advantage I need now.
Now if I activate, let's see, not Archfiend's Roar. Now he has to pay the cost with me. Activate the effect of a card. No. Should be fine. No, stop that. Don't want to use Arch... I don't want to use the Roar just yet. Okay, it was Clay Man, I figured. Yeah, I can't do nothing with that. He's got nothing this time. I'd say it's safe to pay to put this face up on the field. And let's see, if I pay 500 life points to bring that out, I can attack, full on attack him directly here, can I? No, no, I think I want to save that. Okay, it was just for Stinatrix. Hit him for 3,000. Warrior returning alive. What's he doing? He's bringing back for Stinatrix. Summoning a different for Stinatrix. Activate the effect of a card. Skyscraper, let him do that. Okay, Terror King Archfiend. Okay, it's over for him. It's over. Gonna go, gonna go ahead and bring this back, too. Make sure I finish him off. This is overkill. Well, this one went stupidly easy. Just because I got lucky. My points have been to zero. I did it, everybody. I did it. I'm a genius. Great at video games. Great. Okay. Reason to win. I guess we'll keep playing as Titan since I need to... Need to finish these off. Salvage Warrior. Let me go second, let me go second. I want to see what my deck got updated to. Got Pandemonium. Advanced Ritual Art. He's got Fusion Sage. I know what those three are going to be. You can conduct two normal summon sets this turn, not just one. Doing that means I'd be able to sack tribute, right? I also get something on board for that, the uh, Terror King Archfiend. I'll just go ahead and activate this. Activate double summon. Now, set this. Yep. I can summon. Then activate. Or not activate. Tress. Summon that thing. And everything's alright. Anything else? Nope. Alright. Looks like I might have this one in the bag as well. Graceful charity. That could be a problem. Oh, no, it doesn't have anything to work with. Oh, except that. You do not need to pay the cost. Pay the cost anyway. Uh, no. This card is used to ritual summon uh, Lycan Lycanthrope. You must also tribute monsters whose total levels equal six or more. Okay. Oh, I don't have a ritual monster in my hand, do I? Hang on, let's get a closer look at that art there. What is that? Okay. 
I guess I can summon Terra King Archfiend, because why not? I'm not going to pay the cost of anything. Ah, okay, of course it was the ring. Your turn. Let me guess, you have nothing. Nothing! She didn't activate a mirror force, so I should be safe here. Can save this for in case either of these guys die or I need the tribute again. Battle phase. Alright. Let's hope. Okay, yep, yeah, I got her. I got her. You're done. You're done, Alexis. She just seems to have a really shitty hand. I can relate to that. Hey, it's a summon skull. Fiend with dark powers. This card is always treated as an Archfiend card. Yeah, they had to errata it like that, didn't they? Sacrifice it, but not really any reason to. Can't be tributed. Okay. Not really worth. We'll just leave it alone. Kill the Cyber 2 2. 1,000 left. Come on, Alexis. You're not doing anything. Nothing. She has nothing at all. Even after a graceful charity. I don't want to deal with another black hole golem. No, I don't want to activate the card. I just want to win. That was ridiculously easy. Okay, how much we got left? Oh, 100%. But that's not right. We Yeah, we still have uh, DLC duels to finish. Darkness Returns. And Schooling the Master. Let's see. Yeah, we can finish those off. I'm still nowhere near gonna be starting fight the 5D saga. Well, let's get these done. Mermail, Abyss Spike. I'm playing as Chancellor Shepard. All right, now I'm going first. I don't like that. Crystal Charity, Cyberstein. Oh boy. I don't know. I, okay, at least I got these. Let's see. Pay 5,000 life points. Special summon one fusion monster from your extra deck into the field in attack position. What do we got? Cyber Ogre number two. A fusion of this monster can only be conducted with the above fusion monsters. When the card attacks, it gains attack equal to half the attack of the attack target during damage calculation only. Well, I don't want to do it on my first turn. I may as well activate Fusion Sage, just to mill my deck a little bit. Thin and mill it. Thin, mill, whatever you want to call it. Using Graceful Charity right now might not be the best idea. Let's go Pot of Greed. One, two. The Earth Hex Sealed Fusion. You can substitute it for any Fusion Material Monster, but the other Fusion Material Monster must be correct. You attribute Fusion Material Monster. Wait, I can just summon... Oh, wait, no, I can't. Cyber Ogre. Okay, okay, what, what what the fuck game? Cyber Ogre plus Cyber Ogre. You can only conduct this with the above fusion monsters. Then why would you give me this thing if it doesn't work? You contribute fusion material monsters on the field, including this face-up card. Special summon one corresponding earth fusion monster from your extra deck. Wait, okay, you want me to use it like that, but that seems kind of... Weird. Fusion Conscription. Reveal one fusion monster in your extra deck and add one of the fusion materials listed on that card from your deck or grave it to your hand. And if you do, 
Rest of his turn, after this card is activated, you cannot normal summon set or special summon monsters with the added monster's name, nor activate their effects. You can only activate one fusion monster conscription per turn. Okay. I guess we'll just do this to thin the deck a little and grab myself a cyber, another Cyber Ogre. I can still, pol I can still use Polymerization on it. <laughs> but again, do I want to do that on my first turn? If anything, I think it would be safer to see how he reacts by putting this down. I have, I now have two different ways to bring out my boss monsters. Uh oh, he got a lot of cards. He got dry. Is it dry? 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 I don't know. Two face downs now. Those could mess me up. Cyber Summon Blaster. Each time a machine type monster is special summon to inflict 300 damage to your opponent. Okay. Trojan Blast. Activate only when an opponent's card effect shifts control of monster from each side of the field. There's destroy that monster and inflict damage equal to your opponent's attack. I, 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 I think I'll keep that in my hand for a graceful charity discard. I think it's time to fuse. Or should I go with... Should I use Cyberstein first? Because if I mess this up with polymerization, I might not have the life points to do this. I think polymerization should be my backup plan, right? Right? I'm gonna do it. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and hurt me, you piece of crud. Guess who's getting attacked? Hmm. Not you. Okay, mister. I'm gonna say that was not a very nice thing to do. Alright. I need to bring... I need to, uh... I need to bring him back. Damn it. All oh, those life points for nothing. And I lost more. Alright, I'm gonna save Graceful Charity. I'm gonna wait till next turn. Alright, that did not go very well. At all, whatsoever. There goes the Stein. Creature swap. Hey, 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 no, no! I d no! <laughs> That's why I had this card, obviously. Maybe I should have set it face down. That was great. Oh. Turn that card to extra deck, then if all fusion memories, you can special summon all of them. I can do that. Okay, what do you know? Things are working out, kids. I'm gonna need you to stop doing that, though. All right. I'm gonna have to bet on Graceful Charity here. I need a comeback right now. Uh, I I don't want Dark Hole. Call of the Haunted. Having two of those is honestly probably very good right now. Uh, Cyberstein is dead. There is no reason to bring that thing back. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Cyber Dragon. When this card is normal summon, you, you, you cannot special summon monsters except. Blah, 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 blah. You can target one Cyber Dragon you control. It cannot be destroyed by battle or by. If this card is banished, you can target one. Okay, it's, it doesn't have anything that'll help me, basically, but it has good attack points, so. No mirror force, no mirror force. Okay. Alright, I can do this! I got three monsters! And two Call of the Haunted's face down. But I'm, I'm, I have dangerously low life points, so... Okay. 
What's he gonna do? He's got nothing right now. Okay, he's got something. Whenever they play a face down, I just know it's gonna be a mirror force. Another diffusion. That might come in handy, actually. Activate the effect of a card. No, I don't need to do that. All right, he's got nothing. He's got nothing. I'm coming back. No, I don't want to use Call of the Haunted right now. Okay, Zane, what you got? What do you got, Zane? He's got that. Go on, attack me, he says. I could use polymerization right now. No, wait, that's right. If I use polymerization, and then he activates anything to destroy my attacking monster, I can use diffusion as a quick play, and then and then just get my monsters back. But by special summoning, I lose life points. Wait a second, if I Diffusion at this point... No, no, it'll count, it, it would count the two summons as one, and I'd only lose 300. This is getting dangerous. I might call the Haunteds aren't, aren't very viable anymore, are they? Okay. Come on! No! No! He had a diffusion! Activate the effect of a card. No. I could have activated my own diffusion, but no, I don't want to lose life points because stuff is bad happening. Just finish him off, for God's sakes. There we go. I did it. I did it, everybody. Oop. All right, now we just have, let's see. Yep, we are absolutely at the very end of GX, Darkness Returns. I gotta play as Evil McEdgelord. Genix Alley Power Cell. Night Shroud. He's so edgy and cool, dude. He plays trading cards. He looks like a skull. Giant germ. Fiendish chain. Activate this card, but target one effect monster. Negate the effects of that face-up monster while it's on the field. Also, that face-up monster cannot attack. When it's destroyed, destroy this card. Okay, so negate, negate its effects and it can attack. That's a pretty good thing to have. Destroy all monsters on the field. Do I want to do that right now? Darkness Destroyer. Cannot be special summoned. This card can attack twice during the end... Blah, blah. During the battle phase. What the fuck did I say end phase? If this card attacks defense special monster, black piercing damage. Sinister Yori Shiro. Each turn, one level 5 or higher fiend time monster you normal summon can be summoned without tributing. If exactly one normal summoner set her cards would be destroyed, you can send this card to the graveyard instead. Only one... Mushroom would be destroyed, you send this card to... Okay, I understand. Level 5 or higher... Attributed. That that seems kind of busted. I can just do that. I guess. I'm gonna use my giant germs to stall him a little bit, and then I'm gonna go dark hole on his field. No, I don't want to actually wait a sec. Sinister Yoshir, I may as well just activate it. Or when I need it. There it is. There it is. Take the bait. Necroshade. Escuriado. Or Escuridao. Flipping up the Scarab Man. 
No, no, I don't need to. Nope. Go ahead, go ahead. Yes, I will. Summon giant germ. I don't want to activate it, for God's sakes. How many times am I going to say no? All right, now we got stuff. What's Chaos Hunter? Let's take a look at this. When your opponent special summons a monster, except during the damage step, you can discard one card, special summon this card from your hand. Your opponent cannot banish cards. Why the specification during the damage step? You can special summon this card from your hand. Special summon this... Uh, your opponent cannot banish cards. All right, let's go dark hole on him. Take that sucker. And I still have a fiendish chain. My goodness, these cards are good. Can attack twice. I guess we may as well do that. That is so busted. Like, I don't even have to pay anything. It just works so well. Must be a, I, no, I don't want to use fiendish chain on myself. Dang it. Like, it doesn't seem like there's very much of a downside to Sinister Yorishiro. It's just like, hey, summon. Summon something really powerful for no fucking cost. Like, Jesus. I'm destroying him. I remember having trouble with this one when I played as Jaden. And it's not hard to see why. These cards are good. Miracle Fusion. Uh-oh. He's gonna summon another Ascuri Dao, ain't he? He fused Ascuri Dao with Necroshade to make Ascuri Dao. Activate the effect of a card. You know what? I think I will. <laughs> Sucker. It's good to be powerful. Oh, wait. Uh-oh. He's powerful now. And he... Uh-oh. Son of a bitch. Stop making a scurry now! That's enough. Activate the effect of a card. Your opponent special summons a monster. You can summon that, but... Ooh. Your opponent cannot banish cards. I should have... I should have summoned this one first. Because then he wouldn't be able to use Miracle Fusion. That's unfortunate. Alright. I'm gonna activate it. Uh. Why do I need to click Giant Germ for? Hang on a second. When your opponent special summons a monster, you can discard one card. Okay, I have to discard a card. I didn't see that part. Oh, well. Use the effect of Sinister Yoshiro. Hang on, how does it work? You can send this card to the graveyard instead. I don't want to do that. I might need Sinister Yoshiro next turn. Yoshiro. All right, hit no cards in her hands, Jaden. Mausoleum of the Emperor. During each, either player's main phase, the turn player can pay a thousand life points. That would help. That would more so help him than me at this point. All right, so we have a problem. He's going to kill me next turn. I'm just going to have to end my turn. I'm not even going to bother putting her in, de in defense mode. Just me rolling around my damn... Chair. Okay, there's gonna be a bit of a shorter episode, but that's fine. I will probably still come back before before we do five Ds, cause I really fuck, 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 fuck. 
Like I'm probably gonna might mix in some other Yu-Gi-Oh spin-offs in the meantime, but I did like I've said, I wanna watch all of 5Ds before I uh, do the 5Ds 5Ds part. I just get a good way through it. What is that? Sound oh sounds like someone's doing laundry again. When your opponent special summons a monster. Okay, I can just summon this thing right now. And deal with Sparkman. I kind of have to. Yes. This is. We gotta. I gotta be careful. I'm close to winning, but he has. He has the 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 edge here. Come on, think, think, think. Use the effect of. No, I need that. I need to keep Sinister Yoshiro. Glomoss! Glomoss! Oh no, he's gonna make me draw a card! <laughs> Whatever will I do? Except win the duel. This card cannot be normal summoner set. This card cannot be special summoned except by sending one fiend time monster you control and one fiend time monster from your hand to the graveyard. I can't do anything with this! Right at all. Glomoss to the rescue. He's gonna win for me. I don't even need to read what what other what else it does. If it says I get to draw a card when he attacks me, it means it's good it's bad for him and good for me. Alright. I'm gonna survive this turn. I'm gonna survive this turn. He didn't Oh, why didn't you attack me, Glomoss? I thought you were cool. Fiendish chain! Oh, that's not gonna help me. That's it's too late. It's too late. Prisma is gonna finish me off, even though I could have yeah, fiendish chain the deal with a scurry Dow. God damn. Okay. Wait and see if he sacrifices. Wait and see if he sacrifices. Wait for the battle phase. Carefully. There's still a chance. Okay. What is he doing? Come on. <sighs> yeah, it's too late. And Prisma just attacked. Damn it! That was going so well, and I just. Ah! I got really unlucky. Oh well. I can do this. This guy's cards are fucking stupid. <laughs> this character looks like a 12-year-old made him. He, and he's got a black hood and glowing eyes. He's a skeleton. And his name is Night Shroud the Hedgehog. I wonder how many people are Googling Night Shroud the Hedgehog right now to see if some kid made it. Venus Chain is good, and look, I got my favorite little friend in the whole wide world, Sinister Yorishiro. Once again, I can stall with Giant Germ. I don't want to play this right now because he can use it, and I don't want him using things. If I can get in a position where his life points are low. Heck, uh, Sinister Yorishiro basically does the same thing as Mausoleum of the Emperor, but it's better for me. Okay, activate Sinister Yorishiro. Gold sarcophagus. Oh, he, he did that for foolish burial. Burial. That seems a little ironic. Your opponent succeeded in normal summoning a monster. Activate the effect of a card. Uh, no, I want him to attack the giant germ. Yeah, I know what's all, what's in his fusion deck anyway. Summon the germ. Mza. You just got germed, motherfucker. That's what you say when you sneeze, sneeze on somebody. Super polymerization. That's a good thing I waited to use my fiendish chain then. Hey, hey, that's mine. I really am getting annoyed by this thing. It's just gonna keep coming for me and I gotta take care of it. Here's the problem. 
he can fuse a scurry Dow with another card just to summon another fucking Askiri Dow, because I know he's got three of them in there. And it gets stronger for everything that's in the, um... Oh, I have a Dark Hole. Cool. Element to Hero in your graveyard. So, yeah, I think that the safest bet is just to Dark Hole it. I booped him. Now I can summon Chaos Hunter. Yes, I will. Activate the effect of a card. No, I don't want to use Fiendish Channel myself. All right. There we go. This one's looking better. But he ha he, ha he doesn't have any card enough cards in his hand to possibly summon a Scurry Dow this turn. A foolish Burial will help him power it up a Scurry Dow. Uh-oh. No, no, no. No, no, no. No. Oh. Okay, he didn't bring a Scurry Dow. I don't think he could. How's he doing? Is activated. No. Okay, watch what he does. He's flipping that up. He's putting those... Oh, I see what he did. Yeah, he made himself Neo so he could uh, do the shuffle. But that thing's gonna go back into the deck. Why would you bother, buddy? Must be first be special. Hang on a second. How does it work again? If this card is not already targeting a monster with its effect, you can target one face-up effect monster on the field. While you control this face-up card, that target's effect on the field is negated. During the end phase... Oh, okay. He's going to make us clash. Yeah, he's declaring an attack. I'm going to use my Fiendish Chain to stop his attack. And then he's going to... Yep, yeah, then the card goes away. Wait, what? Oh! Because I negated his effect, he can't get shuffled in the during the end phase. Okay. Anyways, let's use Terraforming. Just mill this out of my deck, because why not? He suppressed my effect. Fuck, now we're at a stalemate. Let's send my turn. He can sacrifice that thing, though. That's a bit of a problem. And he gets Foolish Burial. What's he gonna do that for? Send Necroshade. Oh, I see his plan. I see what he's doing. He's gonna do this again, isn't he? He's gonna summon Neos. Then, no, he threw away Spark Man. Okay, he's got nothing. I set myself in a weird spot, didn't I? I got another Fiendish Chain. I can make use of that. I can still attack, though. We'll get rid of his Prisma. Prisma is a very annoying elemental hero to deal with. He can do so many things with it. Do I? <sighs> Sounds like somebody's mowing the lawn. Hang on. Can a man just play fucking Yu-Gi-Oh in his bedroom? Good, goody, goody, that sounds fun. I don't know if you guys can hear it very well, but that's annoying. Activate the effect of the card. No, I can't use another Fiendish Chain. Okay, what's he gonna do? He's got the Necro Shade. Bringing out the Neos, all right. Activate the effect of the card, not yet, not yet. Okay, he ended his turn. Yeah. You drew cards. Activate the effect of a card. Not yet. Fires of Doomsday. Special summon two Doomsday tokens in defense position. These tokens cannot be attributed unless it's for a dark monster. You cannot summon other monsters the turn you activate this card, but you can set. In defense position. There's no cost to... Holy fucking shit, that is loud. What are they doing? No, wait. Is that... I don't even know if they're, like... If that is a lawnmower or if they're, like, drilling upstairs or something. 
Oh, this is so annoying. Like, I, I couldn't even record shit yesterday afternoon because there was noise going on. Oh, well, deal with it. Tolerate it. <laughs> Great. Cool. Fire of Doomsday is activated. All right, so I got to think here. Do I attack with Chaos Hunter or do I leave it? I think I'm going to leave it. Fuck. I'm in a weird spot again. Oh. Fuck. I thought I let go of the right thing. I meant to Fiendish Chain that. That's a problem. No. Okay, what do you got? That's another, another sinister Yoshiro. Yorishiro. I keep fucking forgetting the eye in there. Fiendish Chain. Oh. Get rid of Aqua Dolphin. Okay. The effect of a card. No. No. Yeah. No. Hero mask. Her one face up monster you control. Send one element to your monster for your deck the grave. Every target's name becomes okay. He changed his name to Prisma. doing this. Alright, I'm just gonna use the Fiendish Chain to stop him now. What? What, what do you mean? Targeting an effect monster, damn it! <laughs> Christian! <laughs> Come on! Well, there's a fucking waste. I'll just put two of them on him then. I forgot. It only works on effect monsters. I forgot, I forgot normal monsters were even a thing at this point in Yu-Gi-Oh. It's fine. Oh, thank God, finally. Something I can use. Maybe, perhaps. He's doing nothing. I don't have those tokens on the field now. And what do we have here? Phantom Sky Blaster. When this card is normal summon, you can special summon any number of Sky Blaster tokens. Up to the number of monsters you control during each standby phase as you can inflict three and damage your opponent for each Sky Blaster monster you control. Sky Blaster monsters. Sky Blaster monsters you control can, cannot declare an attack during the turn you activate this effect. Yes, I will. Boop. Boop. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, attack him, I dare you. I fucking dare you. We're gonna get rid of your damn monsters already, Jaden. Emergency call. Go ahead, summon some more friends. Summon as many friends as you want. It'll be fun. Get ready. Boop, boop, boop. Well, it looks like I won this one, Jaden. Activate the effect of Phantom Sky Blaster. It's not really, no. Don't need to do that. Summon a monster with three more attack. Do much for Yeah, vanish it, sure. Summon that. Okay. It looks like I've won this, haven't I? And it sounds like there's more noise going on. Well, it's a good thing it looks like we're about to wrap this episode up, isn't it? Just enough.
And there you have it. All GX duels have been completed, even the, including DLC. There's no more exclama exclamation marks anywhere. All right. So next, we need to move on to 5Ds, but that's not going to be it. Not going to be for a while, and in the meantime, I do want to continue to play this game before doing 5Ds to some degree, so... Here's what I'm thinking of doing, like, another random episode or something where I make a deck of my own here, like, Elemental Heroes or something, and then just take on some of the duels. The challenges I've been told to stay away, I should reasonably stay away from until, until I get much, uh, much more ingrained into, like, the later game mechanics. But... That's all right. Um, like I said, I also got plans to play some more of Destiny Board Traveler. I think that's going to be a lot of fun to do. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and cut it here. Definitely a short one, but what can you do? I finished it. I've kind of had my fill, and like I've been saying, um, my mouth is disgusting right now. I need to go buy some toothpaste because that fucker Dylan decided to pack the tooth... Pack the toothpaste to not tell me. Thanks, Dylan. Just going to shame you in front of my audience for that one. Anyways, that's it for now. Thank you all for watching, and have a good night. Bye-bye.